So if you watched my last race video, you'll know that we ran a slightly new sprint format, and we also said that we weren't going to see it return for a while. Well, this was proved slightly wrong. Hey there guys, it's Tim, and this was one of the most confusing oh. races that we've had for quite a while. But before we even knew what was going on, qualifying got underway. And if you've been following me for a while, and can remember back to the second race of this series, you'll know I had an absolutely terrible car that not only veered right, but had barely any straight line speed. Well, I think I might have got it again, except this time, the brakes had just been redone, meaning the slightest touch would meant I locked up and either go straight on or Whee! span round. But despite a few lockups we were able to muddle through and I ended up qualifying P7 for the first sprint race. It's lights out and away we go! We get away well, we stamped on that throttle and into the middle of the track. We're not going to be able to get quite down the inside into French Curve. Can we go around the outside? We can, but we're going to have to brave it on the outside into centre, which is not the place you want to be on the start. As we get dived down the inside, just showing that's not exactly where you want to be on the start. We get put on the curb, but can we set up and move into 180 to go deep and get past we can despite the understeer we're through because they just slowed down so much and we're up into p5 at this point but we do just get bumps from behind oversteering us a bit and then we drop down to p6 it's off the track cuts the chicane Dolph goes to the clear through goes Hamilton so after quite a chaotic start we're actually up to p5 this is where the cart comes into play however as this is the gap at the start of the straight and this was the gap at the end of it. And remember what I said about the brakes? Yeah, that was bound to happen at some point. And what it meant was the person behind me went for a move and nearly hit me into the wall, dropping me all the way back down to P7. And despite going on an absolute charge from this point and putting in some really fast laps, I still wasn't able to catch up and ended up finishing the first race where I started. So it's time for sprint 2, and actually my earlier bad qualifying helps me here, as it's a reverse grid, meaning I start P3. So for the second time here at Red Lodge, it's lights out and, away and we, we don't go. want to repeat our earlier mistakes, so we duck straight to the inside, and we're all, almost completely on the grass, we've managed to find a gap and it's completely down the inside, we're into P1 temporarily and we're going to have to defend the inside at centre, but we've got through, turn one and we're up into first, can we hold it though, as we go down towards the 180, we're going to have to defend as I break very very early, covering off from the switch back as well, trying to get a good run out onto the kerb, but we've managed to stay in front. And let's just look at that start again. We got a brilliant start, and then they covered off the inside, but we almost completely on the grass. Managed to make a gap, and then got down the inside into turn one, and then managed to hold it through centre. What a start that was. Nothing else that you can see really happened this race. However, if you were looking backwards, there would be a lot of action, as P2 was glued to my bumper the entire race. But luckily I was able to defend and came home P1. So it's time for the final and this is where it gets confusing as the two previous classes mix and then split into two other classes. Previously I was in B1 with the other group B2. This time we have A and B, not to be confused with the other A class that is in the championship. And the cadet carts, well cadet 1 is with us and cadet 2 are with the A's. Still following? No I wasn't either. All it really meant was I was doing my final 15 minutes earlier and against faster people. So because the grid order was based off of average finish and a lot of average finishes overlapped, I was starting P7 for the final, meaning I'd have to climb quite a bit if I wanted to get decent points. So with that being said, it's time to get this race underway and it's a good start, we've got some really good reaction time sending it to the inside, we're going to try and claim P6 from the car in front, we're on the inside going down into French Curve, it's not quite going to be enough, can we hold the inside for centre? We can and we're going to have to try and slam the door in them which we do perfectly, they do hit us a bit but we're alright, we're up into P6, can we catch up to P5 from this point? They've pulled a little bit of a gap after the battle we had. Cut to two laps later and we're right on the rear bumper of P5. Can we get a look round the outside? The outside's not usually where you'd want to be for this corner, but we're going to manage to make it stick. Can we even try P4 as well? He spins on the inside, he does tag us, but it means that we're up into P4. So some really, really good luck and some good overtaking has got us all the way up into P4. But with four minutes to go, 
can we have a look for that podium position caught up to the back of p3 however i'm gonna try and spend the next couple laps getting past him but as you can see from that corner there he's just doing some brilliant defending covering off the inside line just enough and i'm gonna try and move on the inside there but he just slams the door just a little bit so yeah his defending was super super good here so i end up stuck behind him in p4 so it all comes down to this then the final lap that we're about to go on to now and i actually managed to get down the inside for p3 at center however the camera cuts out literally here meaning we don't get to see that move but if you don't believe me here's the trophy for proof so we finished that last race p3 meaning we get the points for third as the first two races don't count for points they just qualify you for the last race so a really really good result which I'm quite happy with. I'm still slightly annoyed that I wasn't able to catch up to first or second, but with these eight minute sprint races, you just don't have long enough.